Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this ongoing real-time scenario videos, so I'm going to give you one of the real-time scenario is how to take partition-wise number of rows in data frame. Like whenever you read data and whenever you have a data frame with the multiple partitions, multiple partitions. So how to take, how to get or how to take partition wise, partition wise row count. So this will help you when you are working in uh, only mainly for performance tuning. If you want to know each uh, partition wise, how many records are there and some partitions will have a more, some partitions will have a less. And then based on that, you can do some other checks before implementing some data scenarios. Okay. Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this ongoing uh, real-time scenario videos, today I'm going to give you one of the real-time common scenarios, how to find number of rows per partition how to find number of rows per partition in data frame so mainly when you're working with a huge data process right so it will create multiple partitions based on partition block size and then some partitions will have less records some partitions will have more records whenever you do transformation joins aggregations but whenever you are facing a performance issues, if you want to do fine tuning with uh, code, uh, mainly for data skewness issues, data skew issues. So data skew issues means some partitions will have more data, some partitions will have less data. But if you want to know that first, you should know how to get that partition wise records. If you get partition wise records, like one partition will have more records, one partition will have less records. Whenever you do part doing a partition on date, okay, the so partition on year, a month, a week. So some week will have more data, some week will have less data, some months will have more data, some months will have less data. But if you want to know that, like if you have a partition by a month, like if 20 months are there, the 20 months, which month is having more data, which month is having less data. So this will help you to take number of records per partition. Let's create one data frame and uh, how to achieve that partition wise data. So how to get partition wise row count from data frame. First we need to get some data files. So in Databricks, you can find uh, plenty of data files in Databricks data set location so here you can find multiple data files for POC purpose or learning purpose which you can use this data files data breaks data sets spelling mistake so here you can find plenty of data files COVID data and other airline data and data plenty of data you can find this you can take any data okay you can take any data just I'll go with the simple data which is a COVID data there, uh, some data files are there. Consider, uh, take this in your set facts. And the multiple files are there. I'll, I'll, I need only CSV files. Let's create data frame with the uh, COVID. So spark.read.csv. And uh, here I need only CSV files. So start.csv. It will consider only CSV files. Header true. And uh, once you create a data frame, right? So this data frame will have a multiple partitions. Even you can get a, uh, you can convert into RDD. Then you can use this function, get number of partitions. So it will give you how many partitions are there. So three partitions are there. Let's I'll go with some four, five partitions. I'll just consider three partitions only. I want to know each partition, how many records are there. It doesn't matter maybe two partitions or 10 partitions, 100 partitions. Each partition, how many records are there? So for that, we can use one function called, we can use one function called Spark Partition ID. We can use 
data frame you can use a select query or you can add a new column if you want to add a new column you can use a with column i just to select a query so select spark underscore partition underscore id that's the function and uh, which you can import from by spark dot sql dot functions import this function so this function will help you you can create alias name as a partition id part underscore id okay and then you can take a group by so group by on uh, part id take count so how many records are there so it will give you how many records are there so this is the data frame okay. just i want to show you that how many records are there Partition. So whenever you use this Spark partition ID, right? So it will give you sequence ID, and uh, always Spark or Python sequences start from zero. So zero, one, two. Total three partitions are there. Partition ID one, zero, one, two, and partition zero is having a uh, this many records. Partition one is having this many records. Partition two is having this many records. So some partition will have a more, some partition will have a less. Even if you want to do some repartition, consider. Repartition. I want to do create eight partitions. So repartition eight partitions it will create. So then eight partitions. How many records are there? You see this zero partition. This many records. When you do repartitioning, it will split and equally. It will distribute the data. If you observe carefully, and it is splitted and equally distributed. So in some scenarios, if you want to uh, avoid a data skew uh, skewness issues whenever you are joining with the tables, right? So you will get some partitions with more data, some partitions with less data, but some partitions in some tasks will complete early, some com tasks will take more time. So what we can do, we can do repartitioning, then it will split the data accordingly, it will create equal size partitions. So now it is created eight partitions, zero to seven, and the data also you can see equally distributed, 798, 798, 798, or 800, 799. So this way which we can go with, taking the number of records per partition. So this will help you mainly for performance tuning part. When you're working a performance tuning part to identify the records per partition and number of partitions, number of loads, also will give you some information and performance tuning. So thank you for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe my channel. And all these notebooks will be available in my GitHub. You can find my GitHub, this is my GitHub a repository which you can find under this azure real-time scenarios folder all notebooks will be available here you can use this if you are if you need any reference you can use this notebooks thank you we'll see you in another video have a good day see you